In today's video, we will be going over how to reset your Catalink Q ports and how to reinstall the drivers. First, we will go over how to perform a Catalink Q reset, which could help if Catalink says that the printer is offline, but you have the correct port selected. With Catalink open, you will select Q from the menu bar. Highlight and select Manage Keys. Find the Q that you are currently working on, A3 plus sheets. It will change the port from Epson Stylus to Null or File. We're going to hit Yes. Close the window and we're going to wait 30 seconds. Let's reopen the Queue Manager window right here. We will reset the port to Epson Stylus 1390. Now if the option is not available, physically inspect the USB connection and reset the printer. Let's go ahead and close the window. Then open the status and settings window. If the printer is still showing offline, please contact support. Now we will check for Canlink updates and install it. This can help resolve compatibility or some printing issues. Select devices from menu bar. Select Manage Devices. Highlight Prestige A3 DTF. Press the icon that says Check Cloud for updates. Select Yes when prompted to download driver package. Select any custom settings you wish to preserve by checking the respective boxes. Press OK. Catlink will install the latest driver version. Next, we will do a clean driver install, which can help if you're having an issue with your print queue configuration. Print modes need to be reset to default or print mode was accidentally deleted. The first thing to do is remove any open jobs in the queue. Next, we will select queue from the menu bar. Choose Manage Queues. We will delete all available prestige queues. After you've removed all the prestige queues, close the window. Select devices, manage devices. Press the prestige. Once the then we're gonna remove the device. Once the device is removed, we're gonna select the install printer button. Type prestige from the search bar. With the prestige selected, press OK. Next, we're going to select new printer packages from the cloud server. Click Next, Next, and the driver package will automatically be installed. All print modes are going to be installed to default. Next, to continue from here. Once you're connected to your machine, you can select a compatible device. Now our print modes will be reset to default. Alright, that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching.